This is the fork mount blinker upgrade for the RCR Onyx bike. The LED strip, and then it has a zip tie that runs through it, so that's how we're gonna strap it around the uh, fork. And here, if we come to the end of the cables, we have the red cable, the yellow cable, and also the black cable. The red cable is for the daytime run lights, the yellow cable is for the blinker, and the black is negative. We're going to need some fairly standard bullet connectors, but I recommend the ones with the 1622 uh, end because the cables are fairly thin on this light fixture. Technically, I could wire in either the red or the yellow, but if I did the red, it would give me a white blinking light. The yellow is a blinker light, and of course, no matter what, I have to do the black wire. The first thing I have to do is strip back the insulation on the wire. I wanna be careful not to get the inner wires because I don't wanna expose any copper. Gently push down on the strippers and twist the wire so that you start to cut the insulation and then you should just be able to rip it off. Of course, I'm gonna link everything that you're gonna to need to do this install yourself in the description, so please take a look. As you can see, my strippers are not quite fine enough for this wire, so I'm going to gently use the cutter option and just slightly cut it and pull, I'm trying to get the insulation off. There we go. So remember, yellow is for the blinker, uh, black, is for the negative so i'm going to cut i'm going to strip that one now there we go make sure it's nice and clean now i'm going to take this red one and i'm just going to fold it back uh, i don't want to cut it off because i might want to use daytime run lights in the future but for now in this application i'm just going to cut it back uh, tape it up that way it's out of the way and it's not going to touch anything but i do want to have the option to run daytime uh, run lights in the future this would also be a great place to add a uh, shrink wrap tubing uh, and just heat it up a little bit. It would protect the wire and all at the same time make it look a lot cleaner. At the moment, I don't have any on hand, but I'm gonna go ahead and order it. I'll also link that in the description as well. There's a few places where this could be used and I'll let you know uh, when that is. And now I'm ready to add the connectors. So as you can see in the end of the bullet connector, there is the little hole that it goes into and it's gonna need to be tightened down. And so one will go for the black, like I've said before, and the other one will go on the yellow. Now you wanna make sure that uh, the wire is touching the little place inside um, the tube, uh, making full contact. It might even be a good idea to add a little bit of uh, solder. All right, so now I got my uh, strippers here, and I'm gonna to have to crimp it with the front. Uh, I wish I had the crimpers that had the crimp on the back side, um, but I just can't find them right now. So this will have to do. And as you can see, I did get it nice in there and I did crimp it down still. It would've been nice, but yeah, I don't have them on me. So it is what it is. Let's just continue on and I'll crimp them both with the front of my strippers. Get the yellow one in. Let's get this thing crimped down and That feels good. Yeah. Now I didn't order the RCR with the built-in blinkers, but as you can see underneath the uh, kind of the fabric here that it's wired for it already. I already wired up the right light. And so that one was the black. If we just take a look in here. It's so black and the red and the black and the purple are for the left. So that's black and red are the right turn signal. Black and purple are the left. I'm gonna reach over here and turn the right blinker on so you can see what it looks like. Here we go. See it's sequential, so it runs, you know, kind of chases itself all the way over to the right. So it's very obvious which way you're heading. Uh, and so I'm gonna take the left one and it's gonna plug the black into black and the yellow into the purple. And we're gonna test it out real quick. See, as you can see, it chases across, so it could be used in different applications, but of course, I'm still gonna use this as the front fork turn signal. Unplug it. You're gonna to wanna to take the blinker and have the head of the zip tie facing inwards, that way the wire is facing that way. This will also ensure that the chase is working correctly from inside out. We're gonna get this thing attached. Don't forget to pull off the 3M tape cover. I already did that here. Now that I've got the zip tie run through, I'm gonna tighten it up and you'll see that there's still a little bit of slack in here. This will allow you to make some adjustments, but I'm gonna add a little bit of foam when I'm done. However, the glue on the back should hold it in place. So I'm gonna get this thing set up. There we 
go. All right, here I'm gonna take electrical tape and I'm gonna tape over the connections to make sure that nothing falls apart. This would also be a fantastic place to use shrink wrap tubing. I don't have any on hand right now, but I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna redo all this later on with shrink wrap tubing. But for now, for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna tape it down and make sure that I waterproof it as best as possible with the tape. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm gonna get really cover the edges to make sure it's fairly waterproof. Um, not that I'm planning on going through water. I'm gonna take all the slack and I'm gonna fold it up. Yeah, just, oh, it got a little bit stuck back here. All right, I'm gonna fold it up with my hand a little bit. All right, then I'm just gonna tuck all this in here, kind of work it around to get into a nice, almost figure eight feeling. All right, I'm just gonna reach back for some tape. Of course, I could just clip all this, but I, I wanna keep some extra uh, cable there for now, because I still want to see about adding it to the daytime run lights, but we'll see. Let's just get this thing looking all nice and secure. All right. A few more wraps and break it. Cool. Now, after we've done all that, we wanna test the lights to make sure the lights work, because something may have shifted. Um, due to the wires of the bullet connectors, but I didn't, don't foresee that as being an issue. Adjust it a little bit more. There we go. Now that I have this all bundled nicely, I'm going to kind of run it with the other wires. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just see how it fits in here. And take some zip ties. I'm gonna use small zip ties for now. I'm just gonna get it wrapped around there. It's a little bit tight. They're only four inches zip ties, so it's gonna be a tight fit for this one. You can use whatever size you want, just clip the excess off when you're done. Pulling it through, tightening it. There we go. All right, now for the second one. Gotta run it through here, like threading the head of a needle. It's a little bit tighter. Perfect. Let me use my strippers to just clip off the ends. There we go, there we go. And now it looks pretty good. It's uh, just kind of tuck it in there. Perfect. Now let's look back at the bike. All right, right blinker, looking good. Left blinker, fantastic. Now I'm really, I'm really excited about this. This is gonna bring my game up make it a little bit safer for me around the streets. If you have any questions at all, please make sure to ask in the comment section. Please like, share, subscribe. I'm gonna put all the links down there for everything you're gonna need right there in the description section. Have fun and ride fast.